Green one, we're off and racing. Good even start from all six race cars on the outside. It's Mark Pagel who gets the nose of car number four into the front. Round the western corner, the thing driving offline. Can he hold it up? Can he keep it online? Here comes Brimsey down underneath him. One in trouble high on the racetrack was Dempsey Pales, but he gets it back down low on the track just as Brendan Doyle arrives. David Mush muscling his way underneath Brimsey up into position number two. Back behind him will be Brendan Doyle. Matt Williams trying to get off the tail of the field. He's in battle there with Dempsey Pales. Race leader down the main straight away. Car number four, Mark Pagel to the better of David Mush in car 12 back then to Ian Brims trying desperately to get up on terms with him in car 31 is Brendan Doyle bit of a challenge at the front of the field from Mushy pokes the nose underneath as they go under the uh, control tower and David Mush goes into the race lead at the expense of Mark Pagel round the western corner and David Mush the new race leader as they head down the main straight away Pagel in trouble now with Ian Brims charging underneath him so uh, Pagel can't get it back on the race line and goes back into position number three and Brendan Doyle now interested in coming up a little closer to him. They put another one down on the journey. David Mush is the race leader, Ian Brims charging hard in position number two trying to close the gap on him back then to Mark Pagel. Brendan Doyle would be the next one and then getting clear would be Matt Williams with Dempsey Pales up on the infield and out of the event. Western corner, David Mush continuing on his merry way. Heads down the main straight away, we'll have the checkered flag waiting for him and Mushy takes the first one from Ian Brim's next one home was Mark Pagel, Brendan Doyle and Matt Williams. Put your hands together folks for the local guy. David Mush, car number 12.